Hello everyone and welcome to this quick tip on using the edit normals function within Keyshot. So you might find that when you bring a model in and apply uh, materials with certain textures, it looks like you've got flat areas or holes within the model. Okay. And this can be down to the normals of the surface, not all facing the same direction. So firstly, what are normals? Um, a normal is the direction that is perpendicular or 90 degrees to the mesh surface and for the surface to appear smooth and constant without holes or these flat areas these normals should all face in the same direction okay so as you can see on this chair here i do have a flat area and i can also see that maybe around the arms of the sofa it's a bit more uh, faceted and jagged than i would like so here i can use the edit normals tool You'll find the tool underneath the uh, tools drop down. And if you can't see this button, just right click on the ribbon to select that you want to see it. And then click on the edit normal button to start the tool off. Now, as I had the part selected, it automatically appears uh, in the preview window. But if I hadn't got it selected, it would ask me which part I wanted to kind of manipulate. So it's quick, I've just rotated that model around and I can see here I've got that flat area. And I've also got the option to toggle on the view of the vertex normals and the face normals and you can manipulate the display height to kind of increase those just to make it even clearer um, with which direction those normals are pointing in okay, so i'm just going to turn the display of those off for now so we can see it a bit clearer and leaving things as the default of 45 degrees i'm just going to click on that calculate vertex normal button and you should see that that flat area disappears there we go you may have also noticed some things changed around the arms uh, so to make this again this clear again i'm just going to disable the visibility of the wireframe so i can see the model itself and there are still some kind of sharp areas within there now i may want to soften these and remove these crease lines and to do that i can then manipulate what this minimum edge angle is so for this one i'm just going to increase it to 80 click on that calculate vertex noise button again and you'll then see it has softened up in the different areas now, if those creases needed to be there, make sure that this minimum edge angle does not exceed what that angle is. Otherwise, they will smooth out. So when you are happy with what you've done, uh, you can then click on apply. And it will apply it to the model in the real time window. And we can see you know, with this texture, that flat area has now disappeared uh, and the armrests have also smoothed out. Thank you for listening.